Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose let's say 10 second long and background color is white. Let's make this 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool and for the color i'm going to choose black color i'm going to choose bold version or you can choose uh, extra bold version and enable this fox bold icon and type first text i'm going to type m select this text press ctrl alt home to align the text at the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press v for uh, selection tool and let's move this text over here Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it by holding Shift. Move this over here and change this text to O. And let's move this over here. Hit Ctrl D. Change this text to T. Try to adjust this over here. Hit Ctrl D. Change this text to I. Try to adjust this over here. We will select this O over here. Hit Ctrl D. Bring this at the top. And let's move this over here. Select this. Hit Ctrl D. And let's call it a T. Sorry. Let's call it as N. And let's move this over here. Okay. And then try to adjust it properly. Okay. So this is our text. Now I'm going to select all of them and I'll hit Ctrl D and I'll simply bring all of them at the bottom and I'll change the color of this one to yellow. I'll select all the first layers and I'll hide them. Now let's select this M and this uh, all these uh, layers and over here I'm going to delete this fill and I'm going to add stroke and stroke width is 4 pixels. Okay. Now select each layer, right click, go to the create and shape from text. So it will create this kind of shape from text. Follow this procedure for all the alphabets which are in yellowish color. Okay. Then we will select this uh, yellow color layers and we will delete them because we don't need them now. Like this. Along with that we don't need this M over here. So I'll delete this. We don't need that. Then I'm going to select this O and select all of them and press Ctrl Alt Home first to align their anchor point to the center. Now select this layer, go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path. Go to the trim path and let's make this end value 0. Create one keyframe at the start. Zoom in, go to around let's say 2 seconds and let's make this 100. So if you see now, we will get this kind of animation. Uh, let's go to 1.15 frames and we will move this layer over here instead of 2 like this okay and select this last keyframe and let's hit f9 now select this trim path effect hit ctrl c select all of these layers first of all go to the start and hit ctrl v and hit u and uh, not for this o but uh, we will select all the keyframes of this upper four alphabets and we will hit f9 okay and then we will take a distance of 10 10 frames so we can adjust it one by one with the help of open square bracket you can move them from here to here so if you see now we will get something like this okay now what we need to do we need to add one extra stroke layer so for that we will create one stroke with the help of pen tool and make sure the stroke width of this uh, is 4 so zoom in a little bit and let's create one point at the center of the stroke like this zoom out and by holding shift i'm going to create one point over here 
so what will happen we will get this kind of connective stroke now go to the start select the shape layer and uh, go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this uh, start value 100 create one keyframe go to around 20 frames and let's make this start value 0 and when uh, this uh, start value is 0 we are going to select all of this alphabet i mean stroke layers and we will move them over here okay like this so it will start from here and then if you see uh, this o animation uh, let's select this o layer hit u we will see where is ending it's ending over here so what we can do we can create one keyframe at end over here and let's create one keyframe at end over here and at last over here the end value should be zero so what will happen we will get this kind of completing animation effect and we will select this last keyframe and we will hit f9 okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay now after that uh, what we need to do over here i'm going to select this m and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select this layer and i'll change the color of this one to yellow and press p for position select this right click and choose separate dimensions and we will hide this layer just for now and we will lock this also because this is extra layer that we want now i'm going to select this uh, m layer over here i'll press s for scaling option and scale let's make this 30 over here and let's try to move this over here zoom in a little bit move this at top of this o okay now select this o stroke layer and hit u and as you guys know that this is completing at this point so what we are going to do i'm going to select this m over here now press p select this right click choose separate dimensions we will create one keyframe at y over here and go to the start and we will move this over here okay so it will look like it's coming from up and then we will create one keyframe at x we will go few frame forward we will move this x from here to here again we will take the same distance as this we will move to this i then to this o then to this n and then uh, as you guys know that we want this should be over here so what i'm going to do and now i'm going to enable this m over here select this p for position create keyframes copy those keyframe and hit ctrl c and let's hide this and go somewhere around over here and now we will select this m and we will hit ctrl v so it will automatically place those stuff over here then now we can delete this m we don't need that along with that at this point i want scaling animation should also happen so i'll press s create one keyframe hit u go to the last keyframe and let's make this scale 100 again okay so we will get something like this now this uh, animation is half because we want bouncing animation also so let's try to do that now at this point uh, our y position should be over here so let's try to adjust the y position over here now select those this y position keyframe hit ctrl c go over here hit ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v okay so if you see now we will get something like this and in middle of that this y position should be over here and select this y position hit ctrl c in middle of that hit ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v and over here hit ctrl v and let's move this over here so if you see we will get something like this which looks awkward but uh, we will fix it now select those y position keyframes and we will hit f9 now over here we need to adjust y position keyframes only in graph editor so simply go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph and your graph should look like this initially then go to the start select this graph by holding shift and move this handle over this side and this handle at this side and if you see this thing in fit you will get this kind of falling animation then select this portion move this graph over here this graph over here this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see now 
we will get proper bouncing and we need to follow this procedure for all the remaining graphs we need to adjust their curve like this then on, only we will get this kind of bouncing effect okay similarly i'll select this move sorry select this move this handle over here over here and if you think that this is quite long so you can simply select those keyframes and by holding alt you can reduce the duration okay now along with this animation i want rotation animation also so i'll press r i'll create one keyframe and hit u go over here let's make this one complete rotation go over here let's make this two go over here let's make this three go over here let's make this four go over here and let's make this two again like this okay now uh, at this point i want this o which is this one should start to appear so i'll select this and i'll move this over here then at this point this t should start to appear at this point this i to move this over here at this point this o should start to appear so move this over here and at this point this n should start to appear like this okay and another thing you can do if you want you can select this o press s simply select all of these alphabets first of all go to the last and press ctrl alt home to respect to anchor points and you can select this first create one keyframe hit page down button two to three times create another keyframe and go to the start and let's make this 105 or let's say 110 like this so you will get this kind of popping animation or you can make this 115 also select those keyframe and hit f9 and now you can select this keyframe and hit ctrl c select this t hit ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v Control V. So if you see now, you will get this kind of pop up. Okay. And same thing, you can see do this for this M, but you need to keep in mind that over here scale is like this. So select this and hit Control V that scaling animation over here also, like this. So if you see this now, like this, or I don't think we need to do that over here so hit control set this looks good now select all of them and enable their motion blur so along with this animation you will get some motion blur effect also like this and select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this animation and we will call it as animation only and hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 40 select the rectangle tool and we will create one mask go to the mask properties and increase the mask feathers press t for opacity again and let's make this 15 okay so this is how you will get something like this then press ctrl y to create one solid background then hit u right click new and create one null object select both the layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press s let's make this initial scale 110 create one keyframe go to the last and let's make this one or let's say 95 and let's move this keyframe to six seconds
okay and hit n then right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply tint effect also and you can swap this color so it would be easy for us to change the color of this entire animation whenever we want and you can adjust the opacity according to your needs okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation then you can add right click and create one adjustment layer and you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply glow effect on it like this and you can increase the glow radius glow threshold and glow intensity to 0.3 or maybe so we will get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of creative text animation